Good evening, family and friends. As Vice President for Student Affairs and Chair of the Commencement Committee, it is my privilege to announce the arrival of the graduating class of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, candidates for the baccalaureate degrees.
Ladies and gentlemen, the faculty of William and Mary. Please join me in welcoming the official party led by our rector, John Littell. Please rise as you are able for the National Anthem of the United States of America. Thank you for that beautiful song, Ms. Wright. Good evening. Please be seated. Welcome to the fourth of six commencement ceremonies to celebrate the great class of 2021! Woo! 
Woo! Graduates, you have so much to be proud of. You have adapted in the face of unprecedented challenge. You have persevered and you have earned your degree. Parents, friends and families, we are proud to count you as part of William and Mary's family and to have you back on campus here, now, together, even in this gentle spring Virginia evening. Water is available throughout the stadium to help you stay hydrated in the warmth. Members of William and Mary's Board of Visitors, we're delighted to have you bear witness to the fruits of an extraordinary education. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Members of the William and Mary faculty and staff, you transformed research, teaching, and learning in the midst of pandemic. You've kept our grads on track to their diplomas. Would you please stand so we can thank you wherever you are in the stadium? Thank you. For centuries, William and Mary graduates have served in our nation's armed forces with distinction. This weekend, the United States Army commissioned 11 William and Mary students. Receiving William and Mary degrees this weekend are 124 active duty reserve or military veterans. Would all military personnel and veterans, including anyone in the stadium currently serving or who has served, please stand and receive our thanks. Thank you for your service to our nation. William and Mary's Royal Charter of 1693 establishes the position of Chancellor. William and Mary's current Chancellor is the Honorable Robert M. Gates, class of 1965. Chancellor Gates served as Secretary of Defense, Director of the CIA, and President of Texas A&M University. He has served under eight U.S. presidents and is the only Secretary of Defense to have served under presidents of different political parties. He models the highest ideals of public service that sustain democracy in the 21st century. Chancellor Gates joins us today virtually. Thank you, Catherine. To the class of 2021, congratulations. You have survived the strangest senior year in living memory. The last exam has been taken, the final paper submitted. The registrar has double checked and yes, you have indeed made it through one of the most rigorous educations in the world. In the midst of a global pandemic, no less. To the parents and families of the class of 2021, congratulations. You have much to, of which to be proud, and you have much to celebrate. The last tuition check has cleared. However, for you parents contemplating newly available disposable income, forget it. The National Bank of Mom and Dad never closes. Director Littell and the board, thank you for your leadership during this latest test of William and Mary's resilience. To President Rowe, Thank you for steering our university through the storms of the pandemic. I have no doubt that this chapter of William & Mary's storied history will be remembered with pride for the resilience, determination, and yes, the courage this campus community has shown over the past 15 months. For 328 years, William & Mary has prepared its graduates to engage in the open exchange of ideas and to seek wisdom in bridging differences. That engagement is a core element of a William & Mary education. Today, these qualities are all too rare. We are in a period in our country's history marked by too much shouting and too little listening, too much ego and self-certainty, and too little humility and open-mindedness. To overcome the challenges our nation and world face requires a willingness to listen and to learn. As graduates of this university, you have a responsibility 
to defend and perfect our democracy, to keep perfecting and reshaping it. Noting the extraordinary manner in which the class of 2021 has coped with incredible obstacles already, I have no doubt you are up to this challenge. The legacy of service, of making a difference for our country and for our fellow citizens, is the oldest and greatest tradition of this ancient institution, this alma mater of a nation. That shared legacy is what makes this home so special for all of us, so worth cherishing for a lifetime. As you graduate today, know that you too will meet this challenge and are destined to make a difference. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you, Chancellor Gates. It is now my privilege to welcome to the podium William and Mary's rector, John Littell. Thank you, President Rowe. On behalf of William and Mary's Board of Visitors, let me congratulate this year's graduating class. You have accomplished a great deal under trying circumstances. Your resilience, coupled with the commitment and hard work of our faculty and staff got you to this point. Be proud and ever grateful to those who supported you here and at home for this remarkable achievement. At this point in the ceremony, William and Mary, Mary confers honorary degrees, a tradition dating back to 1756. Like everything else about this ceremony, this year's tradition looks a little different. In 2021, William and Mary presents honorary degrees to accomplished artist Faith Ringgold and U.S. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. We are pleased to bring the honorary degree ceremony to you virtually. Afterwards, Dr. Ringgold and Dr. Kennedy will offer greetings to the class of 2021. William and Mary conferred its first honorary degree in 1756 to innovator, writer, and statesman Benjamin Franklin. It is fitting that this year we honor an artist, author, activist, and icon known for her innovative artistry and for advancing equity. Faith Ringgold, your creative powers have broken so many boundaries in innovative and redemptive ways. Born in 1930, you grew up amid the flourishing of the Harlem Renaissance. You learned to sew and work with fabrics from your mother, a fashion designer. With her encouragement, the material arts became your passion. You enrolled at the City College of New York in 1950. You have shared that you appreciated your education, but it also taught you just what was missing. The curriculum included nothing on African and African-American art. Undeterred, you pursued that education yourself. You earned a bachelor's degree in fine art and education in 1955 and began your career embracing many roles, mother, teacher, student, artist. You gained acclaim for your African style masks, political posters and quilts. You have written and illustrated beloved children's books, and you have advanced racial integration in the New York City art world. You penned a memoir, We Flew Over the Bridge, in 1995. In recent years, you have innovated in yet another new medium, inventing Quiltudoku, a game app that elevates Sudoku through color and pattern. Your artworks grace the world's most renowned museums and galleries. You have been recognized with more than 80 awards, including a National Endowment for the Arts Award, a Guggenheim Fellowship for Painting, and an NAACP Image Award. Your children's book, Tar Beach, is a Caldecott Honor Book, and it received the Coretta Scott King Award for illustration both so well-deserved. In a 2020 New York Times interview, you said, I'm always thinking about what can be better. Through your artwork, you have changed the world for the better. You have triumphed. 
Faith Ringgold, your talent is extraordinary and our university is proud to honor you both for your creativity and the change you have led. With the authority vested in me by the ancient royal charter of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I now present you with a Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Congratulations to all of you, especially at this time when we have so much happening in the world today. But you will survive it. You will go out and do the best things that you can. If you will combat the world with your education from this wonderful college. Anyone can fly. All you got to do is try. I am very pleased to be here with you. Thank you very, very much for having me. William & Mary has long been known as the alma mater of the nation. So it is fitting this year that we honor a leader who has strengthened the bedrock of our democracy through an unwavering commitment to impartial and fair judging. Anthony McLeod Kennedy, your career is renowned. The 104th justice to serve on the United States Supreme Court, you have promoted civic education in this nation and abroad and advanced the rule of law to uphold equality and human rights. Born in Sacramento, California, you learned about civic affairs from your attorney father and teacher mother. Your interest in government ignited at an early age and you served as a page in the California State Senate. You earned your Bachelor of Laws from Harvard Law School. You served in the California Army National Guard and then launched your career in public practice before becoming a professor of constitutional law at the McGeorge School of Law, University of the Pacific. In 1975, you were appointed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit by President Gerald Ford. Then in 1988, President Reagan nominated you as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, and you were unanimously confirmed by the United States Senate. You assumed senior status as a federal judge in 2018. During your tenure on the court, yours was often the pivotal vote alongside fellow Reagan nominee and former William and Mary Chancellor, Sandra Day O'Connor. Among the consequential opinions you handed down, you strengthened free expression and authored the majority opinion to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide. Your unwavering commitment to the Constitution has been lauded so often as it should be you embrace the role of teacher, calling the next generation into a deeper understanding of the ideals of democracy in all these ways. You exemplify the crucial role of the judiciary and the importance of neutral jurisprudence for the nation. Anthony Kennedy, your steadfast service to democratic principles has sustained our country through many trials. It is most fitting that the alma mater of the nation should honor you. With the authority vested in me by the ancient royal charter of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I now present you with a Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Kennedy. President Rowe, Rector Lytell, and members of these graduating classes who give me the privilege of joining you today in receiving this acclaimed degree. This honor will be treasured by my family and me for years to come. And it is of special significance that we receive it at a time when you graduate at a point where our country needs you more than the country has needed students for many, many years. The Charter of William and Mary in 1693 states that the college is to study divinity, philosophy, languages, 
and other good arts and sciences. Notice the use of the term good. It has an ethical, a moral, a value-laden connotation. Do not be discouraged from using words, from following conduct, from adopting principles that have an ethical underpinning. This ultimately is what democracy means and what freedom seeks. There is dignity in debate. There is decency in discourse. There is discovery in discussing together ways to find new truths, new insights. This was well known and understood by some of the graduates who preceded you here. Professor George Wythe, Thomas Jefferson, James Monroe, Henry Clay, and now by you. To be here on the campus for just a few minutes, for just a few moments, is to experience what you have had the privilege of experiencing each day for years. That is to experience what it is like to be in a place that is a treasury, a treasury of new ideas, a treasury of new traditions, a treasury of dreams ready to be found, ready to be explored. And this you must do. This you must do as you find new ideas, new thoughts, new dreams for a new and better world. This you can do because of your experience here. This you can do because of your commitment to the rule of law and to the idea of freedom. And this you must do so that the rest of the world can look here to William and Mary, can look here to the United States, can look to you to see what freedom, to see what dignity, to see what liberty can and ought to mean. Again, thank you and congratulations. It is our tradition and commencement to honor accomplishments of exceptional faculty, staff, and graduates. In 2021, William and Mary will present six university awards to our community. You can read more about each of our recipients in the program. The Lord Botetat Medal, established in 1772, goes to the graduating senior with the greatest distinction in scholarship. The 2021 recipient is John Charles Kiner, who received his medal this afternoon. The James Frederick Carr Memorial Cup goes to the graduating senior who best combines the qualities of character, scholarship, and leadership. The Carr Cup will be awarded to Abram Clear tomorrow. Our graduate and professional school prize is named for Margaret the Lady Thatcher, who served as the 21st Chancellor of William and Mary. The award goes to a graduate or professional student of outstanding scholarship, service, and character. This morning, the Thatcher Prize was presented to Joseph Matt. In memory of Algernon Sidney Sullivan, the New York Southern Society recognizes two students in the graduating class and one other person with close ties to William and Mary for heart, mind, and helpfulness to others. This year's graduate recipients, Sonia Kinkabwala and Nicholas Ajavi Arma were recognized earlier today. The third recipient of the Sullivan Award is Corinne Picatagi, who joins us this evening. Chief Operating Officer Amy Sebring will present the award. Ms. Picatagi, we're so glad to have you here. As Chief Technology Officer, Corinne Picatagi found herself at the center of the university's efforts to safeguard the community during pandemic. 
She created the university's COVID-19 dashboard and case management systems, offered guidance concerning testing and contact tracing, and ensured that members of the university community had access to vaccines. One colleague noted that she is the glue to our entire COVID response efforts. Congratulations and thank you, Ms. Piccataghi. This morning, William and Mary honored two faculty members and two staff members. The Graves Award for Sustained Excellence in Teaching was presented to Judith B. Harris and Robert J. Latour. And the Duke Award, in recognition of outstanding staff, was given to Wendy D. Urbano and Darlene O. White. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce our undergraduate commencement speaker, Divya Dereja. Ms. Dereja graduates with a Bachelor of Arts in Religious Studies and a minor in Biochemistry. She has served as director of Camp Kassem, William and Mary, and has a passion for creating inclusive communities on campus. Please join me in welcoming Divya Dereja. I came into college with the cloud of ambition hanging over my head, and I wanted it to materialize as quickly as possible. I had 1,460 days to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and how that decision would benefit the rest of the world. As you've gathered, freshman Divya was a little bit melodramatic, but four years later, my time is up and I still don't have the answers to those questions. As the last year has forced so many of us to reevaluate our lives, I thought I would share my beginner's guide on how to adult, the graduating college without panicking edition. Number one, traditions like rules are meant to be broken. 100 years ago, it was traditional for our beloved campus to be occupied exclusively by white men. Since then, we have made strides in our efforts to create a more inclu inclusive campus environment to make sure everyone belongs in this tribe, in this family. This change is first and foremost championed by you, the students, who who protested every Saturday for nine months, complying with social distancing and mask requirements to stand with black lives. This change is championed by our educators, who have worked tirelessly to accommodate students, no matter where they may be, whether that be at home, on campus, or logging into Zoom class while literally on a ski lift. I urge you to use the coming months of uncertainty to continue taking the non-traditional paths and breaking the glass ceilings above you. Graduating into an economy where jobs are down and GameStop is way up, we have nothing to lose. Number two, education is humbling. Many of us have spent the past year learning new words. My freshman roommate, an economics major for example, recently asked me what exactly mRNA is. Thank you, Intro Biology, for making me feel like the Dr. Fauci of this campus. Others learned about words like racial inequity, privilege, and racism in a new light. While our time at William Mary is ending, I urge you to continue chasing education. So much of learning at college happens outside of the classroom, like learning you absolutely will get a staph infection if you jump in the crim -dow. I urge you to champion spaces for further learning in the graduate programs, companies, and other institutions you attend or work for. Today, some of you will be the first in your family to have graduated from college. Today, some of you will have shattered people's expectations of your capabilities. Today, almost all of us will have in some way broken down economic, racial, and social barriers in pursuit of a higher education. This community has nurtured a space for us to think critically, challenge peacefully, and break out of our comfort zones. The humility required for this level of authentic discourse is the necessary product of an education, and I urge you to cultivate it in your future communities. So pause for a second this weekend and ask yourself, how have you pushed for change when you saw the potential for benefit? How have you redefined your path and inspired others to do the same? 
When I first came to William & Mary, I thought I would have so much of an impact on this school that by the time I graduated, there would be a plaque of my face hanging outside the Wren Building. Obviously, that has not yet happened. But four years later, my ego has shrunk and my appreciation for the simple acts of talking to people, sharing ideas, and lifting each other up has grown. You do not have to rebuild PBK brick by brick to have an influence on this campus. In this moment of uncertainty, the closing of our William Mary chapter, celebrate your personal growth, big or small, and thank the people that helped you get here. To my fellow graduates, I say this with the utmost confidence in each of you. Carry forward that fire that burns in all of us to break tradition, chase learning, and champion change. Class of 2021, we have withstood a simply absurd year. But today, you have prevailed. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you for those powerful words, Ms. Dereja. Some things we do this weekend we could not have imagined even a few weeks ago. Parents and friends are here with us. Some things this weekend are unique. We have six graduation ceremonies rather than one. Some things are sweeter than ever before, celebrating together in person, hearing each graduate's name called. For everyone in our community, the successes that brought our graduates to this moment have been hard won. You earned them through grit and perseverance, despite loss and grief. With the support of friends, and so many others along the way. Care for others through service and mutual commitment has been a hallmark of William & Mary this year. William & Mary ran more than 63,000 COVID tests this year. We had nearly 100% compliance with mask wearing guidelines on campus and in our off-campus community. William & Mary students supported that culture in Williamsburg and our region helping to bring positivity rates down quickly when you return to campus. Our students reported a 97% voting rate in the 2020 election. And nearly 2,000 students and employees completed more than 4,300 service hours in our community. Under this pandemic, we have been called to rethink, redesign every tradition and ceremony, every activity, every assumption about how William & Mary teaches, learns, works, and convenes day to day. This year has stretched and changed us in ways that we are still discovering. We've used the word unprecedented so many times and accurately. Yet the truth is, years like this will come again in your life and again to our nation. When they do, you will need to call on the capacities that you have grown at William & Mary. Your grit, your capacity to persist in the face of challenges, from socially distanced performances to Zoom study groups and co-curricular activities. Your ability to tolerate uncertainty all year when the future was full of risk amidst predictions that we would fail, learning to live with ambiguity and benefit from it is one of the greatest gains of a liberal arts and sciences education. And your ability to win out despite the doubts, to craft the best learning experience that you could, to find companions through trial and transformation. As a university, we have come to understand what the philosopher Hannah Arendt called the imperative to think what we are doing to deeply be mindful of how we go about our daily work and why at every moment. We've learned how to conquer our fears for the sake of our shared commitments to protect the health and safety of those who are most vulnerable. I remember listening to the Wren bell ringing on an empty campus last spring. This spring, on every last day of classes, the Wren bell rang out so loud and clear as you celebrated the courage it took to sustain this community all year. Graduates, trust in those capacities and that courage. You can be confident that you are ready to be called on again. You have the capacities that you will need, that your communities will need, 
that this nation will need, that the world will need. Grit, adaptability, commitment to others will be your superpowers. William and Mary will always remember this class and what we accomplished together. Now it's my pleasure to welcome Provost Peggy Aguris so we can begin what you have all been waiting for, the conferral of degrees for the amazing class of 2021. Thank you, President Rowe. We will begin the process of conferring our degrees. Membership in honor societies at William and Mary demonstrates exceptional pursuit of academic excellence. Please stand if you have been inducted to Phi Beta Kappa, Mortar Board, Omicron Delta Kappa, or Beta Gamma Sigma. Please be seated. Thank you. There are 1,620 total candidates for the baccalaureate degrees this weekend. Several candidates join us virtually. When your name is called, we invite you to stand as you are able so that we may honor you. Maria Donahue Valleca, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, will present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. We will begin with graduates in chemistry. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in chemistry, please come forward as your name is called. Spencer L. Seward. Emily Bell Griffin. Sonali Dobby. Jillian Gaunt. Margaret Lawrence. Caroline Rose Sublet. Matthew Goodwin. Christopher Gabriel Hicks. Vibhav Badrish. Alexander Kaito Hall. John Cacciatore. Matt Frame. Abigail Martucci. Tamia Adams. Vittoria Anna Valentine. Lamai Vo. Isabel Maricar. Sunil Fatain Rosaya. Emma Scheidegger. Matthew Anthony King. Josephine Marie Gresco. Emily Chappie. Chris Hetwer, Brianna Peterson, David Hood, Daniel Edwards Highland, Lindsay Nicole Miller. Madeline Jewel Phillips. Allison Francis Moyer.
Hana Lau Chowdhury. Mackenzie Elise Corcoran. Peter Anthony Brown. Stephen Dennis. Luke Scarano. Kevin McFadden. Neil Marshall. Matthew Pettit. Nolan Smith. Michael Francis Guzzano. Nicole Carrillo Vallejo. Sharon Kim. William Jonathan Muller. Daniel Cho. And joining us virtually, Cameron Michael Goff. Leonie Kin. Jade Imani Williams. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in kinesiology and health sciences, please come forward as your name is called. Elsie Cleves Woodward. <laughs> Kayla McKenzie Hand. Ella Castle Donahue. Haley Elizabeth Hopkins. Caitlin May McLean. Martin John Pernut. Riley Rourke. Emma Holman. Kenya Vanessa Hernandez Molina. Madison Ann Rizanak. Sarah Christine Meekum. Jenna Elizabeth Constable. Andrea Victoria Serlaner. Caitlin Elizabeth Dum. Sarah Waugh. Alicia Renee Campbell. Tyler Ellis Patton. Spencer Kenneth Rice. Hope Elizabeth Fuller. Clarissa Marie Belima. Kate Kylan Adams Warmke. Olivia Hope Murray. Jacqueline Alexandra Westbrook. Drew Michael Weber. Kimberly Aaron Donahue. Sam Remington Gale. Hey, Sam. Connor Lewis Scott. Julia Grace Lambert. Taylor Dana Jones. Colin Robert Grip. Matthew John Budendek. Emma Clara Sudovich. 
Madeline Jean Turner. Mara Claire McCartan. Lauren Elizabeth Hughes. Maria Isabel Hurley. William Joseph Keeley. Trey Laren Watkins. Devin Daryl Mathis. Jaden Kira Unique Curry. Felicia Adrian Hayes. Madison Michaela Wester. Courtney, Cle Courtney Cleo Miles. Aaron Irene Daly. Paige Elizabeth Franz. Hannah Faith Angel. Hannah Campbell Smith. Jennifer Marinon Vargas. Robert Christian Bush, Jr. Lee Eileen Morgan. Jeanette Alexandra Kokoris. Matthew Stottlemyer. Ahmed Al Said. Darren Levin Kukusla. Catherine Delaney Waldman. Sophie Kopek. Ann Meredith Milwicks. Haley McKay Haycox. Woo! Mary Graceland Gordon. Lauren Kathleen Winkler. Audrey Pulliam. Luke Robert Louie. Noah John William Beethoven. Ruth Samuel Koshu. <laughs> Saha Ibrahim. <laughs> Refer back where Marfo. <laughs> Lynette Maliba Trataki. <laughs> Makita Naisha Warner. Asante Shamanique Mitchell. Sibyl Walde. Jessica Tate Clatterbuck. Olivia Grace Martin. Madison Duckworth. Jennifer Elizabeth Lowe. Colin Pierce Lilly. Camilla Mady. Aaron Ramsey Dodd. Catherine Nicole Sheffer. Patrick Lester Fulham. Miguel Monlor Pacheco. Rebecca Grace McCormick. Caitlin Emma Pixton. Laurel Elise Goodpaster. Amanda Milin Tedesco. Elizabeth Charlotte Meneval. Angela Natalie Garacci. Camille Chisholm Onkonkwo. 
Gabrielle Rayon Rogers. Taylan Chloe Trin. And virtually we have Brian Young Choi. Kayla Nicole Sage. And Jennifer Marana Vargas. Sorry. Pardon? Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in neuroscience, please come forward as your name is called. Chiame Nijuoki. <laughs> Jessica Ramirez Garcia. <laughs> Jennifer Rivas Salinas. <laughs> Belle Buzi. Chien Jennifer Chen. Cody Elliott. Rachel Ann Akers. Anna Therese Rossman. John Charles Seeger. Madison Evans. Derek Griffin Jr. Sung Jun Wan. Michaela Danielle Wiberly. Grace Marks. Andrew Philip Doty. Samuel Fisher Rhodes. Zach Cooper. Shreyas Bulle. Emily Margaret Pilt. Lee Michelle Plazil. Olivia Tran. Caitlin Jenkins. Madeline Claire High. Sarah Heath Thompson. Lindsay Stolting. Brianna Maria Negrete. Maria Nicole Citrone. Grace C. Smith. Jessica C. Hall. Jenna Rose Shackelford. Zoe Mollenkopp. Emma Sophie Moore. Shreyas Kumar. Sung Su Choi, Ritwick Sanyal, Weldon Greg 
Henson II. Courtney Alexandria Barr. Chelsea Baba Scott. Benjamin Allen Holman. Carson Antonia Parker Kepchar. Sophia Avanti Hernandez. Grace Elizabeth Hafner. Jenna El Sayed. Caroline May Ward. Ayush Rahman. Hassan Samir Arkutri. Michelle Hannah Yoon. Madeline Riley Wright. Juan Miguel Almirante. Miguel Vincent Yarena. Anna Maria Kendrat. Swati Sumitran. Monica Chilakuri. Leila Maboudian. Horace Kummer. Daniela Michelle Jacinto. Meher Fatima Nasir. Alexandra Jane Hicks. David Akihe. Curtis Richard Rogers. Jake Evans. Gregory Fitzgerald Allen. Anna Maria is Anna Marie Isabel Arleth. Haimong Margaret Sao. McKenna McGill. Katie Bristol. Zian Chen. Sarah Elizabeth Martinez. Anitria Patrice Smalls. Hatija Feza Gierge. Soren E. and Tebby. Priscilla Pinero Alves. Pratik Govindaraj. Martin Suhan Fang. Lydia Bowles. Rohan Manali. Faith Elizabeth Reed. Caroline Elizabeth Cox. And virtually Molly Ann Lynch.
and Polina Sorova. Um, sorry. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in physics, please come forward as your name is called. Michael Brennan Brown. <laughs> Maximilian Sellers Weinhold. Gabriel Jauer. Jonathan Palumbo. Douglas Palumbo. <laughs> Calm Thomas McDelmont. Jonathan Daniel Diaz Ramos. <laughs> Ali Abdel Sanar Hassan. Adam Gray Hanneberg. Doyle Stevens Wisher. Brad Hudson Barth. Giles Corzine. Cutter Fugit. Jacob T. Walked. Austin Potts. Andrew John Billing. Preston Mulford. Daniel Slepachev. Finian Ramsey Mayhem. Simon James Davenport. Stuart Nathan Thomas. Lauren Marie Carver. Elizabeth Ann Salada. Samantha Cajotis. Christopher Scott Eggerstrom. And joining us virtually, Jackson Bernard Dillard. Candidates for the baccalaureate degree in psychology, please come forward as your name is called. Emily Chanel Adams. Leah Cho. Alex Lubinskas. Daniel Ryan Urban. Matthew Buttery. James Robert Hope. Zoe Elena Rogers. Ellie Gordon. Gaia Sorensen. Cassandra Fernandez. 
Olivia Thompson. Audrey Bucknor. Runish Brianna Wilson. Emma Dooling. Catherine Savage. Kristen Lee Fritzine. Riley Elizabeth Overcamp Smith. Victoria Revich. Lauren Elizabeth Forsyth. Erin Nicole Hugie. Alexia Kelber. Mikhail Maximiano Lujan. Taryn Pizella Brown. Jordan Greenway. Catherine Elizabeth Dooley. Wei Xian Lim. Elise Margaret Coberly. Paige Caroline Little. Cassandra Eaton. Megan Schnellenberger. Aliyah Soleil Thornhill. Harper Rose Colenbrander. Jessica Black. Taylor Noel Fluck. Maya Brandon. Emily Virginia Salmon. Erin Caroline Lento. Jada Monet Copeland. Asia Monet Prentice. Zaria Hardy. Katie Kasperson. Miso Park. Eric Dorosky. Philip Firehawk. Julian L. Hayes. Gwyn Evans. Kyle Vasquez Parde Schultz. Evelyn Yifan Lee. Daniel Valerio Montero. Virginia Roan Wyatt. Sophia Rose Zapone. Ushwini Sarhathi. Brian Ariel Contreras. Caroline Kingsley Rhodes. Mary Britton Hanrahan. Eliza Joan Tilson. Abigail Lupita Crowley. Olivia Jane Cohen. Noah Thompson Thomas Fry. Caroline Kirk. 
Leanne Soika. Hannah Lorraine Swan. Carolyn Rhodes Price. Hannah Louise Boschel. Gavin Meister. Emily Deanne Grassi. Caroline Toth. Toth. Jericho Green. Maggie Beth McGinley. Matthew McDermott. Alexandra Liana Kuhn. <laughs> Meredith Priestley Beam. Amanda Rogers Stull. Jasmine Victoria Bryant. Emily Jane Bush. Alyssa Gosling. Sayron Asan. Alexandro Noblesa Reyes. Angela Vasishita. Emma Michelle Rebor. Natalie Grace Pritz. Erin Anna Murray. Kaylee Margaret Haller. Krisney Ann Pettit. Kaylee Martin. Liliana Jalen Moya. Cameron Lee Morris. Eleanor Joe Bright. Sierra Nicole Walters. Colin Anderson. Annecy Grace Daggett. Molly Eliza Kieran Berman. Jacob Davidic. <laughs> Natasha Chambers. Renata Gabriella Botello. Nicholas Tay Turner. Faith Elizabeth Rose Harvin. Ashley Marguerite Kirk. Kate Weiss. Alejandro Eulosio. Gwyneth Margaret McRae. Chance Michaela Johnson. Connor Michael Starr. Madeline Moore. Alexa Bailey Common. Tyler Williamson. Mandy Cottrell. Ari Wu. Ryan Gordon Vosler. Billy Jade Venstory. 
Catherine Hales. Jarilis Alicia Pagan. Camille Borja. Loida Rebecca Sanchez Castaneda. Nathaniel Moss Iskra. And Kayla Sung. Joining us virtually, we have Vicky Tatiana Ariola, Lorena Delmar Bugden, Loida Sanchez Castaneda, Alexandra Grace DeFilici, Antonio Jazir Dill Word, Yian Wang. We'll give everybody just a moment to get back to their seats. Now, would all the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise as you are able. <laughs> by the authority vested in me by the Board of Visitors of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I hereby confer upon each of you as appropriate the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science. I welcome you into the community of graduates and professionals well prepared to think critically, solve problems collaboratively, and lead positive change in our communities, states, and nations. Congratulations! Please be seated. William and Mary prepares public school teachers to serve the Commonwealth and the nation. Would today's graduates who have received teaching certifications please stand and receive our thanks. Thank you. And William and Mary has a global reach would all of our international students and our graduates who have studied, worked, or served abroad during their time at the university please stand. <laughs> now please join me in welcoming Marilyn Midyet, Chief Executive Officer of the Alumni Association and William and Mary alumna from the class of 1975. Thank you, President Rowe, and cheers to the class of 2021 one more time. On behalf of the William and Mary Alumni Association, I am delighted to be the first to welcome you as our newest members. As you step across the threshold from student to alumnus, you join a remarkable and invaluable network of more than 100,000 alumni strong. Embrace this opportunity to be an active participant. Join your local alumni chapter, wear your green and gold proudly, and return to campus often for homecoming and reunion weekend. Make it a point to get involved in Young Guard and don't hesitate to use those connections and contacts for networking, friendship, and fellowship. 
And most importantly, please come visit us at our beautiful new alumni house situated directly behind you, which is a wonderful testament to the important role our alumni play in the life of our beloved alma mater. And now graduates, please stand and join me as we recite the alumni creed, which is gonna appear on the screen above me. And when you entered, there was an alumni pin on your seat affixed to a card. Take the pin off the card, and after we recite the creed together, I'd ask that you place your pin on your robe or your hood, whichever is easier to get to. The creed is also on that card as well. Let me give you a minute here. Are you ready? All right. As a graduate of William and Mary and as a new member of the William and Mary Alumni Association, I pledge to uphold the university's standards of honor, community, service, and tradition. I will support and cherish the ideals and values of William and Mary, encouraging others to do so, no matter how far from Williamsburg life takes me. Congratulations again to the terrific class of 2021. We are four-sixths of the way into our commencement celebration. As you prepare to head out to make this world a better place, please show your care for those who have made this celebration possible and for the next graduating group by clearing up around you. Just look around you and see if there's something that you need to take with you. Now please rise as you are able and join the choir in singing verses one and four of the Alma Mater. The lyrics are on page nine of your program. In just a moment, the platform party, faculty and staff, graduates will recess out of the stadium. Faculty marshals will lead graduates out of the stadium and you will recess by rows and exit towards Sadler Terrace. I ask audience that you please remain in your seats until the recessional has concluded and then swiftly clear the stadium. As you exit, please observe social distancing to protect the safety of all guests. All right, two more things. Ready? As president, I officially declare that the 2020-21 session in the 328th year of William and Mary is concluded for you. And